it's time. It's time. Wait, one more. It's time. For the last mission of a comedy finish in our playthrough. This is the end of our journey through the references, the dialogues, and everything about Ace Common Infinity. So let's do this. Of Operation Bunker Shot and let the flashbacks come back once more. Oh man, I I love this mission from Ace Combat 4 and, and this remake is just like it's the it's the real thing. But let's go for the briefing now. Our last briefing <laughs> oh, the feels well, we're all set to go. Soon, we'll be staging a campaign to storm the territory claimed by Yuzia and liberate Eastern Europe. We're calling it Operation Bunker Shot. You'll be going through Area V9D over the Adriatic Sea and into Croatian airspace within the SEU. The ground force will divide into two groups and circumvent Ruta, one of the Elefiti Islands, for the landing. The landing point features a narrow road going inland is well suited for defending against invaders and we can expect heavy enemy resistance. Our air squadrons will wipe up hostiles on the beach and keep ground casualties to a minimum. If we succeed, this could be the tipping point that'll end the entire Yuzian war. We're gonna strike them right in the throat. Thank you, good fellow. Just one observation about the briefing. If the place is so well defended and has a narrow road, why are we even attacking there in the first place? I don't know. It's just, it's cool. But we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna finish with the F-35B. Now, the cool thing is that it does come with the GPB. And it comes very handy in this mission. So, we're gonna head to Croatia. Which was featured previously in Ace Combat Joint Assault. Around the same area. So, Operation Bunker Shot. September the 19th of 2020. Guess what? It's someone's birthday this day. Oh yeah, very memorable birthday. It was mentioned also in Ace Combat 4. Well, let's let's do that. Oh, I'm excited. Hey Edge, how's it going? How's it going, Edge? Man, it is so epic. Let's go! Burst! Burst is back! That's fine, just go, you can do it, I believe in you. Not funny, man. <laughs> he just got wrecked. Take that. Yes, sir, Gotta be respectful, man. Wait, Wasn't that a woman yes, Omega. As it turns out, this Burtz is the sister of Burtz who died in Tokyo in Mission 5. Of course, AWAX. Best birthday. You don't get to work on your birthday. Ever after, after it's a holiday. Alright, so they, they mentioned that, you know, the Allied forces can get lots of casualties because, you know, it's an amphibious landing, it's dangerous and all of that. So, couldn't, couldn't I have arrived in the, in the missionary a little bit before? Clear out some of the enemies? Guess not. And again, why why are we even coming here? Why are we striking here? I don't know. Thank you, Omega. Thank you. So the thing is that this mission, you can get to alternate paths, kind of. You can either support uh, Collins or Birds first. In this case, we got to support uh, Collins or, or the Whiskey team. So we're going to go on the west, si west side of the airspace. Let's use our guided penetration bombs to destroy the pillboxes because they are pretty hard to destroy. It also saves some some missiles. I'm here! Man, I haven't been saying this. It's privateers! Have some respect, okay? I don't 
don't get paid to hear to this BS. Disrespectful. I identify myself as a privateer, not as a pirate. There you go. Wrecked. Already Edge? Come on! Come on! It's been like one minute and you're having issues already. So much so for the elite of the UN forces. Good job, Birds. Oh, I'm just gonna mention this beforehand in case you're like, ACF, why are you wearing a flight suit? If it's the last mission of the game, it's tradition here, you gotta wear the flight suit. On our goodbye to infinity. It's privateers, goddammit. Good for you. Good edge, you got a Sam. Wow, impressive. She gets so excited. Oh, look, guys, I destroy a, a Sam launcher. I'm here. Come on, where's the cruiser? There you go. Take that, boy. Take that bomb. Yeah, go people! Very important. And sunk to the bottom. I love the animation and how the sh ship breaks up in the in the middle. That comes from Assault Horizon. One of the few good things Assault Horizon did was the improvement in the in the graphics. It was pretty good. And how everything gets wrecked. Very important. Okay, we'll do that, AWAX. No, he did not say you! He said Bone Arrows! You are not Bone Arrows, Edge! Get out of here! You piss me off, seriously. Bone Arrows wanna be. Reaper wanna be. You are welcome. He they only thank us, the Bone Arrows. Not the Ridgebacks, no one cares about the Ridgeback. Let's throw in the bombs. Oh, by the way, I also checked this location online on Google Maps. The location has been modified a little bit. The islands and the and the shapes to make to make it more uh, I guess playable, more of an experience for Ace Common Infinity. The, the shape of the islands and their sizes are different than in real life. But like, but if you don't look it up, you don't know, right? So that's an, it's just something that I thought was interesting. They adapted. You can also say Ulysses changed the word, so you never know. And he got damn, he got wrecked. You also have to save a little bit of am ammunition in this mission, by the way, guys. And he died. Let's go, whiskey team! Literally, there's only one boat. Like, seriously. Only one landing craft. Wait, no, there's a couple more. Like, what, four? Four in total? Yeah, three in the back, one ahead. Great! Force. Wow. I'm touched. Gotta believe, right? Right, destroy the enemy APCs and all of that tanks. Yep, he's dead. Thank you, Omega. You're so honest. Thank you. Love you, man. Hooray! Good job. Good job, everyone. We got this! What's that? What, what What? are you talking about? The sound? The flashbacks? What? 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 Oh, 
jeez. It's the meteors. Oh. Oh, Leo. Look at that tsunami, man. It's it's messed up. I guess they died. <laughs> This part is so creepy. The music! The, oh, oh shit, look at that, look at that! Oh, watch out, buddy! Oh, oh! Oh no, he died! Are you okay, man? Oh no, he died! Everyone died, everyone's dying. Holy shit. I like how the water just stays there forever, by the way. <laughs> oh shit, it's the meteors again! He's coming for flashbacks from the last mission. Oh my god, Ulysses! Of course! You got it! The prequel was better though. The just the air, us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's what happened. What you gonna do, good fellow? What you gonna do? That's my boy! That's how I like it! Hell yeah! Oh man! The feels! The music! We can do this! They did, they're not, they're not deaf. Oh, man, the music just matches perfectly with the mood here. Oh, man. Follow the Reaper! Oh man, I love this part! Just gotta keep the throttle up and, and do it, man. It's me! Oh shit, man! Have so far to go! And only heaven knows! You will, Edge, goddammit! The music, man, the, the feels in this, this is the climax! The, the, I, I can't even express how I felt the first time I played this mission. It was the, the greatest feeling ever. Especially if you played Ace Combat 4. Because, which was my first Ace Combat, it just... It's good. It, it's good. Ooh. And I love the remix of of the music too. Blue skies, which kind of doesn't make sense because they're gray here, but okay.
it, it matches, man, with everything. Alright, let's go for the pillbox! And he died. Let's go, everyone! No, you won't. Alright, let's go after the B1s. No, it wasn't that. That's a lie. That's fake news. They don't do anything. Oh man, just seeing how they get destroyed in the air and, and it's just beautiful. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yes. Makes me happy. Truly. Keep the throttle up, go full afterburner, burn that gas. You're done you're gonna do fine here. No you won't, buddy. Man, this this is just the greatest. And now I get sad because I know it finished is ending, so I'm not gonna feel like that in anymore from this mission. That it's kinda depressing at the same time. Never! Also, by the way, in case you guys don't know, I kind of mentioned, but in Ace Combat 4, the last mission, you see the asteroids falling over the over the planet. Because they were using... They are using that as a revenge, kind of. Oh. It's kind of cool that it's, you actually see the, the enemy bombers throwing the bombs. It's It's cool. I mean, not cool for the ground forces, because you know, but feels good, man. Alright, we're almost done here. Let's go after the TGTs. I feel though like the, I really like this part, but I think the, a little bit of the dialogue needed to tone down a little bit. It was a little bit too emotional, I think. Which kind of made it lose a little bit of the epicness. But overall, it was, it was pretty good. Well, let's go to the, the last area. Get those artilleries. Don't get shot down by the Sams. Well, that was close. Gotta get those points, of course. That's why I'm targeting the, the red targets. It's all about being a mercenary here. There's one thing I learned in Ace Combat is to be a mercenary. You get, to, you have to get paid what you deserve. All right, now we got to destroy the final bunkers and then we win this. That's why you have to bring the GPB comes in handy. Destroy those coast fortresses and we're good. I find it funny that they just spawn 
from like the last part of the mission because they've been there for quite a while, right? It's like, yeah, we have a bunker here, but we're not gonna we're not gonna start firing at you until you destroy some of our most important units. It's like <laughs> doesn't make sense. No, we're not Omega. Don't worry about it. They are behind. Omega, are you okay? <laughs> it did not bail out. One target left to finish. Yeah, that's me. Come meet me, friends. I like making new friends wherever I go. All right, let's target. And we got this. All enemy destroyed. All oh yeah. There were still lots of them left, but <laughs> magically they're suppressed. You guys did not do anything, but okay. Participation trophy! Good job, Ridgebacks! Why are you acting like you're my friend now? What what happened to you, Edge? And what kind of a vague quote is that? Great to see all of you back here. The landing operation was a success, albeit costly one. It'll definitely give us the advantage as we commence operations across the Eurasian continent. Meanwhile, though, it's still slow going for the battle lines in Western Russia, where a separate operation is currently underway. Butterfly Master's craft was spotted over Moscow. We still have no idea where he's actually based, though. It's not a he. As for the space weapon we saw in action, we'll brief you on what we know later on. For now, I want you all to take a well-deserved rest. All right. I'm gonna leave my thoughts on Ace Clone Infinity after we Let's see the cutscenes. We've obtained detailed information on an orbital weapon called the Olds. It's part of what they call the Shattered Skies Project. It was created in order to keep the Ulysses fragments away from the geosynchronous orbit range. But Werna R&D secretly used the system to help them deploy a tactical weapon. The system uses lasers fired from satellites to vaporize the surface of orbital matter, using the resulting thrust to change its orbit. Instead of readjusting orbits to keep the Earth safe, they've rejiggered it to send the fragments crashing to the surface in the area of their choice. They still haven't fully analyzed the effect of these orbital strikes. I doubt it's very accurate as a weapon yet. However, in theory at least, ults can be used to attack anywhere across the entire planet. We have Ulysses Part 2 on our hands here. Olds does have a safety latch of sorts, which makes it impossible for the network to target man-made objects in orbit. However, it'll only be a matter of time before Werna deactivates it. We are expanding the range of Operation Eternal Liberation. Campaigns are underway within the Eurasian continent as well. The Arrowheads will be reorganized by squadron and will participate in ops across the entire continent. Any of you think you can top our ace? I look forward to seeing you try. Dismissed.
Well, you're sounding chipper. Something good happened to you? I finally found a decent opponent. That ribbon guy should provide plenty of fun. <laughs> the Papillon Project. I think another page in history is about to be turned. Is there any way to solve the lag issues with data transfer, though? I'm sure you must feel cramped here. Mm hmm Not at all. I like it. I've got a front row seat to the whole thing. It's not over yet though. You think it was gonna end up like that? I mean the, the cutscene part of course. Look at that nice logo with some light going up the sky. What is that? Is that an Ace Combat reference? The two lights there moving on the top? That they are sky fell. Heaven split to create new skies. Even then, the skies kept on engaging each other. I don't even know what to say because I really enjoyed Ace Combat Infinity, but in the end the story was unfinished, which is like... There was so much potential because I, I really like the story of Ace Combat Infinity. It's like, hey, we're not gonna make a, a remake of the previous Ace Combat games, but you're gonna feel like you're having a remake or an HD collection and, and it, 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 it did feel good. And I like how they keep- it was such a hand clipper and they did not finish the story of this game and now I just- I am already started missing the games so I kind of feel empty on the inside because they're not gonna finish in this game and they- the way it's made you have to be online but they're gonna shut down the server so you can't be online so you can't play this game anymore and I'm already missing I don't wanna cry in my video but that's how I feel and then like, this game is ending before Ace Combat 7 gets released, so it's like, what am I supposed to do with my life on the meantime? What am I supposed to play? Those Narmi games? No! Like, ah! I'm gonna leave my thoughts on the review of Ace Combat Infinity in another video, because I don't want to make this too long. But what I want to say is, regardless of what we think of Ace Combat Infinity, I think the important thing is it was a very important step to give the funds for Ace Combat 7's deployment, you know, regardless of what we think about the fuel system, because you know, most of us did not like that fuel system, of course. But Ace Combat Infinity was important not only for funding Ace Combat 7 but also introducing new people because this game was free! But boy, I'm gonna miss this game. So before we end with this video, I just want to thank you guys so much for watching this playthrough, for following up, for growing your brain. Of course, you, you your brain has probably evolved so much, you can't even compare it with your previous state. And I, I'm re I really appreciate you guys coming here and joining me for this, because we made our Ace Common Infinity memories and they're gonna stay forever, even though the game is gonna die, which which it's the sad truth, but Ace Combat lives on, so never forget, because Ace Combat is culture, we are Ace Combat. And to end this, thank you Project Asus for Ace Combat Infinity, I disagree with the decision to not make it available offline, because I would have liked to play this game more, but in the end, I salute you, Ace Combat Infinity. Love your game. And we'll continue from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. And see you guys next time.